wasn't effective, but it was cheaper. Whether it's the disease of alcoholism or out of control anger or a sex addiction or stealing things you don't need. But why? Why must I steal pens and only pens? I have thousands of them. I don't want any more. I am so ashamed. Oh, for God's sake, would you suck it up? Nobody gives a damn about your stupid pen problem. And I'm sorry, but drinking all the time like Sheila over there is not a disease. What's on the back of her neck, and that's a damn disease. And wanting sex 16 times a day just means that whoever you're with ain't getting the job done right the first time. And please, having 300 pairs of fancy shoes in your closet does not mean Becky is sick. It means she's ugly and she just wants people to stare at her feet. No, Joy. A disease is something you have no control over. It's something you can learn to live with but cannot cure. A disease is something that is not your fault. I like that it's not my fault part. Keep going. Well, you have what is known as pathological impulse control disorder. Ha! Damn! Does this mean I can get crippled people barking? Although it felt a little strange, no one ever wanted to be like me before. So helping Kenny was kind of fun. Untuck your shirt. Really? Well, I do 20 lunges every morning to make sure I have a good butt. Okay, just seems like a waste of lunges. I took Kenny to the Crab Shack to start his macho lesson. Catalina came along to wire some money home. Big stack this week. Yeah, Club Chubby relaxed their no-touching policy during the holidays. I can't stand using this machine. It's too much damn responsibility. Last month, I accidentally sent $600 to the Taliban. Well, don't mess this up. If the money doesn't get to my village each week, the men who kidnapped my brother will cut off his finger. He was born with the Leban, but as a magician, he uses them all. Uh, don't cross your legs like that. And take the napkin off from around your beer bottle. Ugh, you are such a stern.